Hi, hello, welcome everyone to our Sunday worship. Today is April 5th. And uh, yeah, I just want to say welcome guys. Let's go into today's uh, Bible memory verse. So it's new month, so this month's Bible verse will be John chapter 14, verse 6. So on count of three, let's read uh, verse 6 together. One, two, three. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. All right, good job, everyone. All right, so for uh, this week, uh, we're gonna just try to memorize this part to this part right here. So why don't we uh, read it all together in count of three. One, two, three. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. All right, guys, good job. Why don't we just take some time and try to memorize this together. Okay, so, you know, read it to yourself, you know, let's read this over a couple of times, and uh, let's try to memorize it for today. Jesus answered, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus answered, I am the way, and the truth, All right, did you guys memorize it? All right, so let's try, uh, let's try answering this uh, block question together, okay? So, Jesus, the first part is, what do you think? Answer, I am the way and the truth and the life. And this week's memory verse is John, 14 verses. All right, good job, everyone. Good job. You guys did a great job. All right, so this week, let's try to memorize this, you know, repeat it to ourselves and memorize up to this part. Okay? All right, so, guys, let's get up from our seat. Let's stretch a little bit because we're going to go into Apostles' Creed and then a time of worship. So, let's recite the Apostles' Creed together. One, two, three. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. And Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God of Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. All right, guys, let's stand up. Once again, let's stretch out, and let's go into a time of body worship together. i 
and we will read verses 15 uh, to 17. Matthew chapter 27, verses 15 to 17. Let's read together with one voice. One, two, three. Now it was the governor's custom at the festival to release a prisoner chosen by the crowd. At that time, they had a well-known prisoner whose name was Jesus Barnabas. So when the crowd had gathered, Pilate asked them, Which one do you want me to release to you? Jesus, Barabbas, or Jesus, who is called the Messiah. Amen. Uh, let me pray for us, and we'll, be, we'll get into God's Word. Lord, we thank you for allowing us this time where we can worship you. Please help us to listen to your Word now, uh, not just with our human ears, but I pray that you will give us spiritual uh, ears to hear, that you'll open up our hearts to um, believe that you are uh, wonderful, that your words are wonderful, and that your words can change our lives and bring us joy. So please give us that faith, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, what is sacrifice? Uh, that is our the main word for today, and when we look, um, sacrifice is uh, giving up something to help someone, um, and sacrifice is not easy. Okay, um, we just had a picture of uh, steak there. What's your favorite food? Uh, steak is one of my favorite foods. Um, a lot of people like also uh, kimchi jjigae, okay, if you like Korean food. Okay, you like the, the gungul, the kogi, and, and the kimchi red. Um, and another uh, favorite is pizza. And um, Imagine having your favorite food, say your favorite food is pizza, and you love pizza, and you can eat it every day. And uh, for some reason, there's not enough for everyone. Um, and there's one piece left, this yummy piece is left, okay? And you know that you're hungry, but your friend really wants that piece too. And your friend says, you eat it, it's okay. But you know if he eats it, he'll enjoy it so much, and he'll be so happy. So you give that last piece to your friend. That's a small example of sacrifice where we give up something to help someone. We see an even greater example of sacrifice from our parents and from those who raised us. We all have different parents. Um, some of us were raised by our grandparents and other family. But it was their sacrifice that helped us get where we are right now. The long hours they worked, the long hours of feeding, of clothing, of washing, of teaching, of disciplining, the money, the time, the heart that they could have put elsewhere, they gave it to us. They sacrificed and gave it to you and to me. But often, we're not very thankful or as thankful as we should. Maybe because we compare with other families and we say, how come my family isn't like this? Or how come my family doesn't have this? Uh, we look at our friend's toys or, or their smartphone or something and say, how come I can't get this? Right? And we have this heart of, um, that is not thankful. Uh, but when we focus on uh, what we don't have, we begin to forget the great things that we do have. And we forget all the great love and sacrifice that our parents, that our grandparents, that our family um, gave for us. But the greatest example of sacrifice comes from our amazing friend and Savior, Jesus. Everyone say Jesus. Jesus. He showed us the greatest example of giving us something um, and sacrificing something to help us. What was that? Let's look in our passage and we see um, that Jesus is arrested and he's taken in front of the governor, Roman governor named Pilate. Everyone say Pilate. Pilate. And Pilate will decide if Jesus is killed on the cross or not. Because the people are saying, kill Jesus, kill Jesus the religious leaders who didn't believe in Jesus as the Savior wanted to kill Jesus. But Pilate saw 
that Jesus is innocent. He didn't do anything wrong. And many wanted for Jesus to be killed, but Pilate doesn't understand why. And Pilate had a chance to set Jesus free, because at this time, each year, was a festival. And during that festival, the crowd could choose a prisoner to release. They could release a prisoner. And there are two possible prisoners. If you see Jesus over here, and we see here, Barabbas. Everyone say Barabbas. Barabbas. And Barabbas was an evil prisoner who killed many people. He deserved to be punished. And Pilate asked the crowd, who shall I uh, release? And they screamed, Barabbas, release Barabbas. And Pilate asked, who should I uh, crucify? Who should I kill on the cross? And they screamed out, Jesus, kill Jesus. Pilate knew that Barabbas did not deserve to be released. Um, Pilate knew Jesus didn't deserve to be killed on the cross. But because the crowd was about to get crazier and crazy and revolt against him, Pilate allowed Barabbas to be free and Jesus was beaten and taken to die on the cross. From this story, we see that Jesus did not deserve to suffer. He didn't deserve to die on the cross. Anyone can see that Barabbas, look at him, he was the clear sinner. He was the one who deserved to die. He should not be free. And when I look at Barabbas, I actually see myself. I actually see us. Why? Because we also, like Barabbas, we chose to sin over choosing God. When Adam sinned, he chose sin over God. And that sin came into us, and we still live like that. Before we know Jesus, all we do is choose other things over God. And so we deserve this punishment. And if it was Jesus or Barabbas, if it was Jesus or me, if it was Jesus or any one of us, we are the clear sinner. We are the ones who deserve punishment. We do not deserve to be free. But Jesus accepted the punishment that we deserve. Why? Because he loved us so much. Jesus sacrificed his own life to help us. Jesus showed us the greatest example of sacrifice. We said sacrifice is giving up something, right, um, to help someone. What did Jesus give up? He gave up his life. And who did he help? He helped us. He helped us, right? Not just so that we can not go to hell and so that we can go to heaven. That's a great blessing. That's a great gift. But he also, through his death, allowed us to have a wonderful relationship with God again so that we can know his love, so that we can be in his love together, right? And in that, that is how we become truly happy. So how did he help us? By giving us true happiness, a way to be truly happy. Our parents and our grandparents, the people who raised us, why did they sacrifice so much for us? To help us, right? To help us become happy. How they thought we could be happy, that's the way they helped us. It might not have been perfect, but for Jesus, he gave up his life to help us also to be happy. And what is true happiness? It is right, knowing God and loving Him and understanding His love and accepting His love. When we're loved, that is the biggest happiness that we could ever experience. And knowing our Father and loving our Father and knowing His love, that's the greatest love and experience that we could ever experience have in our lives. And that's what Jesus did for us. That's why we celebrate Easter. That's why we thank Jesus. So during this week, I want us to especially think about Jesus. Think about how if it was Jesus or me, who deserved that punishment? And how Jesus, 
He didn't say a word, and He took on all of that punishment for us. And as we think about that love, let's, let's thank God for, for our Savior Jesus. And let's ask for the faith. Help me to believe in Jesus as my Savior so that I can experience the true happiness that comes when we know about God's love um, more and more each day. So why don't you join with me in that prayer this week? And let me finish with prayer right now. Lord, we thank you uh, that you sent us your son, Jesus. And when we think about um, Barabbas, and we think about Jesus, who deserved punishment? Who deserved to be set free? Anyone can see, even Pilate, who did not believe in God, knew that Jesus was innocent, and he deserved to be set free. But because of the people, he said, okay, you guys do what you like. And he allowed Jesus to be killed, and Barabbas was set free. When I look at Barabbas and Jesus, I see me. I see me as Barabbas, who deserve punishment because I sin against you, God. Because we sin against you, God. But Jesus took on that punishment for us so that we could be happy. He sacrificed for us so that we uh, can know God's love and we can have a good relationship, a wonderful relationship with Him. Help us to have that wonderful relationship. Give us that faith to believe and to be thankful and to know about how much you love us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright guys, let's recite the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Alright guys, hope you have a great Passion Week.